Matthew here with the Additive Guru. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take a simple cube you make in Fusion, uh, exporting it, put it into Intop, and turning it into a lattice, and then exporting it as an SDL. All right, so let's get started. First we're going to need a sketch. We'll make a rectangle, 25 by 25 millimeters. We're going to extrude it by 25. All right, once we get it that far, you could double click to select it, right click, and save as STL. Hit OK. We'll ask you what you want it called. We'll call it 25 millimeter cube. And that's exported as an STL now. So next, we need to pull up in topology. Go to File, Import, and go to wherever you had it saved, 25 millimeter cube and open. So now that we've got our cube here we can go ahead and make a lattice out of it. So if you want to go ahead and click volume lattice and once you have volume lattice over here you're gonna drag your import mesh into the volume section. Select your unit type. Uh, we can go hex prism diamond fill type you want all inside or centroid inside doesn't matter. This kinda keeps it closed inside and actually if you do all touching we'll be able to trim that later to make it nice and conformal uh, all right, so next we will do the trim trim lattice slap that in there and the body will be our cube which is labeled mesh zero feature tolerance can be one and we'll want it lattice to remain inside. That means it's going to keep all the lattice on the inside. And as you can see, there's our lattice. It's the same size as the cube was. Super simple. Next we want to thicken it with thicken lattice. Just drag the lattice down there. Thickness, let's try one millimeter. Looks pretty cool. Alright, once you get this far, then we can go to mesh from implicit body. I'm going to drag this thickened lattice into the body and what this does it just um, whenever you make a lattice it makes it as an implicit body and uh, that's in tops um, their special file or what, it, what have you and so we just convert it back into a mesh so that we can export it. So feature size this is how detailed it's going to be so if we do try one millimeter as you can see that's not very detailed so we want more so let's try 0.5 millimeters and once you're happy with how that looks then you can go here and export mesh and all you do is you drag your mesh down into here and you pick a path you can just click this little folder this is going to save it to my downloads you've got a few options here you can save it as an OBJ an STL a PLY or a 3MF file. We're just going to go with an OBJ today. File name 25mm cube. And we can save it. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.